hi once again and welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to install Foxy authenticator and uh the initial setup to you know kickstart using photo authenticator in your environment Uh, one of the things we need to do is to first go and download the 40 authenticator um, VM from the support portal. So if you go to support, support.fortinet.com, then so you need to have an account with on support the .com or register one. So that's where you register all your devices. Um, head straight to support and uh, firmware download. Then, then go to under select products. Let's select forty authenticator. Then um, select download and six six point six six point six 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 point six six two. So because we are installing on VMware Workstation Pro, which also works for ESXi, we are going to download this OVF file and um, select HTTPS and um, it starts downloading. So so what you need to do is to import uh, the Forty Authenticator image on Forty on the VMware Workstation Pro. So you need to just double click the, for any of these. Double click this, and then it will be imported into the VMware Workstation Pro. So your VMware Workstation Pro should have been opened, and as soon as you open it, let's accept and select next. Let's call it FAC. Then uh, imports. So now let's allocate resources to our 40 authenticator. Let's edit virtual. Um, virtual machine. So you can see the 40 authenticator by default comes with two um, gig of memory of RAM, then two gig of processors. Um, the hard disk is 60 gig and all that. So let's leave it the way it is and uh, just power it on. But you can modify the resources based on you know production uh, requirements. The network adapter will be on bridge mode for now because we want to use it with a net uh, existing network. So let's power it on. So let's log in with the default default uh, credentials. Add me, no password. Then new password will be So now we have the password changed. So let's quickly set up the network access. So let's do config system interface. Edit what's one. Sets. That'd be 10. Dot fifteen dot same dot two forty slash six four no sets allow 
access https ping ssh okay https um, gui then ssh then enter and So let's do config um, router static. Set um, okay, edits. One set set device it's one then um set gateway. Then end. Now, um, let's let's assess the forty authenticator via uh, GUI. Yeah. So um, then. Login with the credential is set up. Now we have a photo authenticator set up, but not licensed. So um, you need to license uh, the device. So for you to be able to license the device, um, I would make use of the trial version of the photo authenticator. But you can look up my video on how to register um, Fortinet devices so you can be able to register this. So uh, let's set up the host name. The host name here will give it uh, FAC. FAC. Rock. Then we we'll also set the time. The time here. Okay, it's correct. Let's see. Okay. Uh, the time here is not correct. So let's enable the NTP server and also ensure we are in the same in the correct time zone in West Africa. And click save. Okay. Now we're in the correct time zone. Then um, the next thing is to, so we have uh, the host name set up. The FQDN will be uh, dot .assembled point. Let's go. So let's quickly also ensure that the uh the FQDN is, is resolvable by adding it to the DNS of our forty of our um by adding it to the DNS on our server. So log into your server, which is your Windows server, and go to DNS. Log into the DNS and make it resolvable. So let's create a new entry for the fuck. So now let's create host record, host name, new host name, which is fuck. Then the IP is 10 dots, uh, 15 dots, 13 dot 40. 
then create add host done so we have this now on our dns record so let's go back to Fortier authenticator so now status So now the next thing is to integrate the Forte Authenticator with the LDAP server. So you go to authentication and um, now um, remote auth servers LDAP, then create new, new. With a name, the IP address, um, the IP address is 10.15, 10 10.100. Then, um, you see, because then. Then we have regular. Password. Then let's try. Let's leave every other thing the way they are. And let's see. So let's try and browse. Now um, we have access to the FDAP server because you can see all the organization units and the CN. So all the users here are up to 28. So this works. So save it. The next thing is to uh, set up the DNS server. Go to system, uh, network, and come to DNS. So here, yeah, we want to give the primary DNS as uh, local DNS. Then you can leave this as a uh, public DNS save. Then looking at the interface for which you want uh, all of our users to be reachable, we want to ensure that all these necessary services are also enabled. So for this, um, you know, for the next coming videos, we want to ensure all these services are enabled. Um, Fabric SNMP, in case we want to integrate Forti Authenticator with uh, six log servers and maybe Fort Sims and other stuff like that. So all these services also needs to be uh, enabled depending on what you want to use them for. So we enable HTTPS, um, ensure most of these things are enabled for future use in case you want to, you know, um, do a authentication based on all these protocols. Then we have radios, monitor, radios, accounting, latex, stackers. So for instance, if you want to join, if you want and cater to servers, radio server, or to participate in any radius communication. All these services at this interface, at the interface at which um, is local to your internal um, network, needs to be enabled. So, LDAP, LDAP, uh, Fortgate SSO, all these are very important to enable so far you want to use them. If you're not using them, they have to be disabled. So, that's the nice thing. So, yeah, now, so we've been able to, you know, um, install and set up the Fortier Authenticator with the initial configuration needed.